I'm completely drenched. I've just been for a little run and it was a disaster. I kind of, in fact, ah, look, I fell over. Look, Stephen. I fell over. Let me see my knee. Oh, my knee's gone. I would say a picture of those stupid things. You know what I was talking about yesterday? In fact, let me take my pants off. I need to check. I really hurt here. Ow. Oh, no. There's nothing there, but I think there's going to be a huge bruise there tomorrow. Oh. Those stupid things. I didn't trip over. I went, I weaved in between them, but somehow my leg got, I don't even know. I like, there's a little gap in between one and the other, so there's a space where you can get through. So I went to go through, and my foot must have got caught when I was coming through. So I just went bang, right on the floor, on my elbow. Oh, that's so sore. On my knee, and then, ow, that hurt. And then I got up, and I was like, whoa. I'm all lightheaded, so I went and I sat down on the pavement. I'm going to faint. I think I blacked out for a second. Oh, my God. Oh, it really hurts. And I was about... I'm only like half a kilometre away from home, so I just sat down for a second then very slowly ran back and then it started pissing down on me. So all in all, great start to the day. <laughs> We're going to check out in a second. Our pack stuff is all packed down there. I am absolutely, oh my goodness, in agony. My leg is killing me from my fall and my elbow. Honestly, I think I have done some damage to it. I can't, like, it, it won't work properly. It doesn't... Ow. It doesn't um, bend properly. Oh, you know, when something hurts so much, I could actually cry when I was like, oh my God, it hurts so much. It really does. Right, I'm just gonna finish up, get a few little last bits of things. Go and check out, pay our bill, and I'm assuming, ow, the, um, the bus comes to here to pick us up. I think it does, I need to go and find out. Right, we're off. Bye, room. The most one, our bus is going to be here in a second. We've just been sat down in this little like area. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Where, where you get like bananas and things, like a little seating area. And um, I've just been doing a little bit of work. And our bus will be here in a second. We're just packing up, getting ready to leave. The bus is here. We're off. We don't really know where we're going, but you've been told to follow this lady on the bike. She's got my bag. I don't know where she's going. Oh. She's going over there. Oh, maybe the bus stop over there? Yeah. Oh, I think this is it. Yeah, this is the bus. We're going to go up here. It's a sleeper bus. Who knew? <laughs> Do you like it up here? <laughs> yeah, we like it up here. We're only on here for like two and a half hours. Stephen wants to sleep on it. Because we've got, this is where last time we got the bus. Stephen was on the underneath one up here. And there's like three beds. But on the last one, this was... This was bags. all covered up with bags and things, wasn't it? Yeah, I didn't think I didn't think it was going to be a sleeper bus. Obviously, it goes a long way all down there now. Yeah, I was like down below. <laughs> it's cool. It's like a little. I mean, it's right next to the toilet. The toilet starts smelling. But I don't care. It's cool. We're not sure at the moment whether we should stop seats or not because more people are getting on, and if more people get on, and then we have to share this three, we don't really want to do that. I'm up for Hmm. We could get like these two top ones here, which would be better if because we don't really want to share this with someone. It's not big enough. Oh my goodness, I have no idea what he's doing. <laughs> get down and try. <laughs>
Ivory is kicking a cab to um to the hotel. Arrive. So here's our room. It's a little, nice little room. So you're just messing with the wardrobe. It's gonna go and hide in one of them, I think. We've got a double bed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then just out here is the bathroom. It's a large bathroom. So this isn't actually like a hotel. It's called a homestay, and it is. It's a bargain. It's something like it was sixteen dollars or like thirteen pounds for two nights. I've booked for. That's like so cheap, isn't it? And when we were out, she was so nice. Um, she was saying that they do like a, a free cookery class every afternoon, and you can like join in with the cookery class, and then, and then if you want to like join in with like the family meal or whatever, you can do. So that sounds really good. So I think we're going to do that tomorrow. I'm just going to unpack for now, and I think we're just going to have a little wander out and see what's around. Go on, then. Go on and get it. <laughs> we are heading out. You see. Yeah, it's got, yeah. So we're going out. Stephen is just heading back to get his jacket. It is gonna pour down. We're definitely not at the right time of year to be in central Vietnam, but never mind. We are, because it's a homestay, it's very much kind of in the locally type of area, I think. I'm just gonna have a little wander out and explore around, see what the local area is like. The Nang is so much bigger than I thought it was. I've just been Googling, I've just been walking along. It's the third biggest city after Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. Just about to cross the river. We're still kind of, we're not looking for somewhere, we're just sort of wandering around. And we're gonna get something to eat. This bridge is the Dragon Bridge. It's cool. <laughs> Look, there's the Dragon Bridge there. It's pretty cool. And it is so dark and miserable. I feel like any second now, just gonna absolutely start pouring down if it does. We have got no, no shelter anywhere because we're walking across the bridge. Let's walk across quickly. Oh, look! absolutely ages weren't we yeah. yeah we finally we found somewhere to eat thankfully just in time because the rain just started started absolutely lashing down just as we kind of got here and sat down we're so hungry we haven't eaten all day apart from like a couple of bananas this morning that we got from the um, from the hotel you lost your banana yeah. did you yeah. oh, oh. oh okay. he lost because he sicked it up on the bus nice this is nice this is about to eat isn't it Look at it all. Oh my goodness. Stephen got chocolate brownie for afters. Chocolate brownie. Mm. Working. What are you trying to do? Trying to make it fall over. Oh. Tasty. We're finished with our tea, we're gonna head back. I think we're gonna try and get a taxi. It's only gonna be like two quid or something for a taxi and plus, well, two reasons really. One, it's probably gonna piss down and two, my leg is really starting to hurt. Really starting to hurt after my fall this morning. I'm hobbling along like an owl. Oh lady. That was so much better than the walk. It cost like 50,000 dong. It wasn't even worth 50,000. 50, yeah, so like what? One pound 80 or something? Yeah. Pound 70. Mm -hmm. Heading home. I'm quite tired and in so much pain. I'm sorry to moan, but I really am in a lot of pain. I want to. Actually, you know what I want? No, I don't want a bath. I don't want a bath. I don't want a bath. I just want to. have a bath. No, I know. I want to get into bed. I've got blisters on my feet and I've got a sore leg. And the sort of, it's a bit scary down here. 
we've got home, we're in bed now, or I'm in bed, I should say. Stephen is watching some videos back there. I'm gonna have an early night. I'm feeling very tired, I have been lately. I've been going, last couple of nights, I've been going to sleep really early and then, then waking up dead early. So I'm waking up at like half past five, which I quite like to say. I'm gonna go to bed now, so thanks for watching today. I don't know what we're gonna do tomorrow. No idea yet, our first full day in Da Nang. We'll have to, I mean, it's gonna be raining probably, so. I don't know, but we'll just see anyway. But thanks for watching today and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.